Hi guys, Chantal here from Nerdy Mama. Today, we're gonna build a live edge charcuterie tray. Basically, I just needed a tray, a flat place on my ottoman so that I had a place to put a drink. But we're gonna call it a charcuterie tray and see what happens. Let's do this. So I wasn't kidding, this is a really simple project. We're just going to take a piece of wood, turn it into a tray, and see where that goes. You can put anything you want on it. This would be perfect for putting on a table with all sorts of small little things to eat. And that's kind of what the idea was, but I just, like I said, really needed a place to set a cup of coffee um, on my ottoman because I have the giant sectional with a beautiful ottoman, but nowhere can I put anywhere a drink. So, easy enough, right? So when I started, I wasn't 100% sure what this wood was. Um, I just had this giant block of it. Uh, it turns out, I think it's cherry. It's very, very nice. It smells great when you cut into it. And uh, I just cut off, I, I, needed, I had this board and I needed it broken into pieces so I went ahead and cut off 12 uh, no, excuse me 24 inch long pieces uh, to do the tray and then another project and then I went through and I just knocked off the one edge that wasn't uh, a live edge just so that it was flush don't look at my table saw technique I have since learned this is not how you use a table saw I promise I will do better in the future then we ran it over to my dad's planer um, he had a planer I did not and we just wanted to make sure it was all nice and flat at least on one side so that I could then sand and get it all nice and cleaned up uh, and have a pretty flat tray at the end of the day You'll notice I'm taking care here not to knock a whole bunch off of the actual of the bark off. If you were going to use this as like a cutting board or whatever, you'd want to knock all that off. Um, but I am going ahead and sanding on it a little bit so that it, if it is going to flake off, then I it will just go ahead and do that now. But I did um, leave all that on there um, as much as I could that didn't want to just flake off on its own because this is a charcuterie tree, not a cutting board. So you see there, I'm not, I'm, I'm knocking off uh, all of the burn marks from the table saw, again from my poor table sawing technique. But I'm also knocking down all of the corners just to give it a rounded edge for, um, for funsies. There's no real reason for doing that. Uh, you'll be able to pick it up using the live edge, so I'm not worried about that. Just trying to make it look a little nicer, a little tighter. So 
So I decided to use this cutting board oil simply because uh, food could be directly placed on it. Uh, not because we're planning to use this for a cutting board for any reason, but it's just a nice conditioner. And man, it made a difference uh, even in those kind of raw looking areas where the water damage was. That just popped right out and I really love the way that this uh, mineral oil made it look. a really simple project and if you like these videos you you're loving the simple projects and how I put these together be sure to hit the subscribe button and give the little bell a little hit love so that uh, you get notified every week by YouTube when a new video comes out thank you so much you guys for being here every week when a new video drive <laughs>